Welcome back to the Wrist Stability Series. In this second part, we're gonna look at seven advanced wrist stability exercises that you can work on. So why do we need an advanced wrist stability exercise program? Well, one of the main reasons is gonna be recovering from an injury, and the other is gonna be to prevent an injury. So if you've had an injury before, you're gonna be more prone to that injury again, even if it's been a while, so you need to do this to prevent another injury. Or if you've never had a wrist injury before, but you feel sometimes a little unstable or unsure, doing these exercises can help prevent that injury. Otherwise, if you are recovering from a wrist injury, you want to go through this program and see how stable your wrist is before you try and go back into some highly demanding activities. Now, a great idea before going into these advanced wrist exercises is obviously to check out our video on our introductory wrist exercises because those can be used continuously like to add weight to or build more strength with. But they can also be a good warm up because you don't necessarily want to just go into higher level activities if your wrists aren't warmed up. So make sure to check out that video so you can get the wrists nice and warmed up before you do some of these exercises. All right, so the first exercise we're gonna show you is gonna involve our BOSU. So we're gonna have the BOSU with it domed down and we're gonna go into a standard push-up position on the BOSU. We're gonna do some rockers with this and some push-ups. So I wanted to show you these two different levels, so depending on your current strength or ability. So in the push-up position, you don't wanna let your feet be too wide because then you're gonna take most of the stability just into your, like, your core, which is fine if that's what you wanna work on, but we're here to work on some wrists. So we stay pretty narrow. And first what we're gonna do, we're gonna just do some rockers. So you're just gonna try and lean that down and back up side to side. So it's gonna give you some good core stability and work on that re proprioception and joint awareness of your wrists. Second, you're gonna actually go and do some BOSU push-ups with this. Okay, this is gonna give you not only wrist stability, but it's gonna give you shoulder, core, and elbow stability. Now, if this position hurts on your wrist, it's okay to grab this from the side. You'll also get good stability there as well, but you won't maybe put as much pressure on your wrist as you're going through it. So same thing here as you go through that. Now, this second hand position is my actually preferred position, but it makes this rocker a lot easier. So just kind of keep that in mind, but it's really good for the push-ups. For our next one, we need like a tennis ball, or in this case a lacrosse ball, and we need a form of a BAPS board. So this just has, you know, more that, that center point, and so when we lay it down, we can get some motion through the board. We're gonna put one hand on the board. Now, more challenging is if you have it in this kind of knuckle push-up position, but start palm flat. It'll be a lot easier to work on. Go into a push-up position if you can, or just come under your knees to start and then you're gonna place the ball on the board. Now the idea is then to move the ball around the board. Now this one's kind of tough because it has a bunch of ridges on it, so the ball is gonna like catch as it goes around, but you should be able to start making some nice controlled circles of the ball on the board. If it falls off, just put it back on, try and go clockwise and counterclockwise, Stuck on a ridge there. As you get this going around, so you get to actually kind of play a little game with yourself. And then you don't even have to think about how much your core is having to work as you get this going here. So that will give you some really nice proprioception and joint awareness as you track that around. And then try and go for a record. See how many times you can go around each way before you switch sides. So next, we're gonna look at some suspension push-ups. Now the great thing about the suspension push-ups is that depending on how low the suspension rings are, you can change the difficulty of it. So if it's really low, it's gonna be really tough. If it's a lot higher, it's gonna be a lot easier. If your body is angled more upright, it's gonna be easy, but if you're almost parallel to the ground, it's gonna be pretty tough. So we come in with just standard grip into our push-up position. Now you get a lot of stability through the shoulders and the wrists as you try and go down and do your push-ups. Now if this feels difficult, you can just try and maintain your plank position for as long as you can. It's gonna be a lot of core with it too though, 
So you get good proprioception, good activation of your core, shoulders, elbows, and wrists as you do your motions. So we're getting into some more advanced exercises now within this advanced series. With this, we're gonna use a medicine ball or any kind of sphere that you have available to you to work on some advanced motions. So with this, we have two different sized medicine balls and you wanna be able to do eagle repetitions on both arms. You can start just by using one. So you have one hand on the ground and one hand on the ball and you can do some push-ups. Now don't go as deep as you can on your left arm in this position because then you'll go too deep on the right, but that will work on kind of your intro to this. Otherwise, use that on both sides, and now you're talking about some real stability, okay? So we're coming through here, going into that push-up position, and maintaining. And if you see that like little bit of shake or that quivering, that's a good thing. That means that your brain is trying to organize that contraction with your muscle to really work on that stability. So that means you're doing something good for your training. So that will be our intro to those medicine ball push-ups. Again, you always want to switch and make sure that you're doing it equal on both sides. So both left and right are getting that equal strength training. All right, so we're getting even trickier now. So now we're going to basically place all of our pressure on one hand on the ball, and we're going to make motions with the other one. So for example, I'm going to do most of the pressure on my right hand on this big guy here. So we come into our push-up position, but then I'm gonna be moving this forward and back. So all my weight is on my right hand, so lots of stability coming through that. So that's just gonna be forward and back and lots of training on my right side. Obviously, make sure you switch and do it on both to keep both wrists and shoulders and everything nice and strong and secure. All right, if you had difficulty with that last one where you're moving the ball up and down, don't go to this next one because it's pretty tough. Now we're going to take that ball and we're going to do circles both clockwise and counterclockwise. So get into that push-up position again, stabilizing through the right hand, and now we got to track that all the way around and over. You want to do that clockwise and counterclockwise. As you get tired, it's gonna get shaky and shaky, and if you start to feel like you're losing that control, just come on out, take a break. Not worth falling off and hurting yourself. So for the last one, this is gonna be a very like dynamic motion, because we're gonna actually do up and overs on this medicine ball. So I actually put a yoga mat down just to help add some padding so I don't have too much impact at my hand or wrist. So we'll start with one hand on and one hand off, and then you can kind of just slowly work yourself up and over, but the idea is to make this very dynamic, so you're coming through here. So now what you're actually doing is working on your ability to land and have that impact and still remain in control. So you're teaching your body what to expect if you do have a fall on your wrist or anything like that, so you have good core, shoulder, wrist, and elbow stability as you go through that one. Now, I find the medicine ball with the circles to be more challenging than that, but this is obviously a very powerful motion, so make sure that you're very safe when you do it. Start slow and work your way up into more of the jumping over as you feel stronger. Thanks for watching. I hope you find these stability exercises helpful, and hopefully you recover strongly from that wrist injury. Part two of our wrist stability video series. I kind of, I didn't like video series, wrist stability series. In this part, we're gonna look at seven specific. <sighs> exactly, that's not what I wanted to say. I was kind of worried after the first one came off, but I was like, if it comes off, don't worry, just put it back on stability program that we're going to show you are going to be some BOSU push-ups and, and BOSU mo motions. I don't like that. Okay. So the first exercise as this... <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs>